Hello, everybody, and thank you once again for joining me for another weekend edition of the show here. Uh, this weekend's special event is the Omniscience Draft, uh, spelled like Omniscience, but it's actually Omniscience is how you say that. Uh, in this draft event, you will pick three packs, and it is the Dominaria set, which is an amazing set to draft from. Uh, we love it. It's a great set, especially in the free-to-play space. We don't get to buy too many packs of it. Uh, well, I haven't bought any packs of it with gold, quite frankly, so... Um, it's kind of nice to have this event combined with Dominaria. So for more content like this, remember to subscribe. I try and do each event. I do deck techs. I do ranked play. All the fun things Magic has to offer. Um, but this event's a little different. There is no need to put lands in your deck. You will get one mana of each color for each turn to use for abilities. And every player starts with three cards in their hand and, and nothing costs any mana. So uh, this is a bit of a janky event. And there are... Like, none of the rules that we know about drafting will apply. I mean, just go for bombs, go for removal, and uh, and be happy with that. There's no... It's it's weird. And this is Dominaria, so things like Fight with Fire. You can play a turn one kicked Fight with Fire and do 10 damage to your opponent on turn one without them ever having a chance to play a card. It's, it's a little silly, but a little janky, but that's fine. Uh, if you look at the Omniscience Emblem that both players will get, you may cast a spell from your hand without paying their mana cost. Spells, all spells, everything. And for zero mana, you can add five mana. Activate this ability only once each turn, right? So you can add, you can get five, um, one of each color, right? Uh, and now from the free-to-play perspective, we are going to be paying gold for this, okay? So we'll pay 5,000 gold. And if you're, if you're playing along with me, if you're doing this in real time with me, we are about a month and a half away from the War of the Spark. We don't have an exact release date yet, but it's about a month and a half away. We should have 30,000 gold saved up in a month and a half, and still have room to pay 5,000 gold for these events. This one's a home run. We're going to do it. You have a good shot at winning three games, hopefully two, two to three games, just based on the jank alone. Three games gets us 300 gems and hopefully two packs, but definitely one extra pack. So it's four packs of Dominaria, which is 42 cards for 5,000 gold. Two more cards than just buying packs. Well worth your money. Here we go. And I'll leave my camera hidden while I draft just so that uh, everybody can see what we're getting. Now here's the thing, these drafts are tricky. Timing, color, mana cost, none of it matters. So dub, uh, imagine getting dub as a top deck or a turn one card. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, has first strike and is a knight. That ain't bad. Um, flying, don't even look at mana cost right now. So everything we think we know about drafting isn't, isn't it. Crossan Druid, a turn one, two, three, you gain 10 life. Bam, that's how this draft is gonna work. Um, so cards like Untamed Kavu are going to be huge bombs. A 2, a 5-5 a five, five with Vigilance and Trample. That ain't bad. I think that's what we're on because it's... If a wizard entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability, so Nabon isn't very good, I'm going to go with Untamed Kavu. Mana Ramp is not going to be a factor. Oh, uh, yeah. Slin Voda. Turn 1, 8-8. Eight, eight. Return all creatures to their owner's hands. That's very strong in this, and that's what we're going for. Yeah, almost right away. Yeah. I like. Also, like enchantments that do removal are nice. Cost doesn't matter. Color doesn't matter. Color doesn't matter at all. This is kind of fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Thorn Elemental is good. Mm hmm. Charge might be kind of good. I'm just going to go for huge, big, bomby creatures and some good removal. So as soon as I see good removal, I might take a look at it. Might not. Not sure. Curator's Ward? I mean, it's a turn one play that'll make something hexproof if you happen to get it. Rona. Uh, you exile historic cards. Nah, I'm not too big on that. Although, you could do this four mana tap ability on the next turn, minus the summoning sickness. Radiating Lightning is interesting, although I don't think we'll see any 1-1s. One think about this with the kicker always. No, I don't like it. There's no mana. There's no mana at all. This is a totally worthless card. So we're going to go with Crossan Druid just for the kicker. I'm going to take everything with a kicker, I think, because kickers are going to be gigantic in this game. Coleco Skin Witch is super strong. Bloodstone Goblin is good. Oh, man, this is a good pack right here. Yeah, it's a 1-3. It, 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 you're always going to kick it. You will always cast with the kicker. Flame of Keld is terrific. 
for this event only. So let me just, for this event, you're just going to dump your hand. This is free card draw. You will not have a hand in this event. <laughs> There's no land. There is no land. Shield of the Realm is nice. Kind of nice. Cabal Paladin is okay. And we're just going to go for the bigger the bigger creature. The 5-5. Five, five. For free. They're all free. Deals two damage each opponent and you gain two life. Nah, I don't like I don't like that saga. This is the original pack. We'll grab another druid just for the life gain. Not too big on Sorcerer's Wand either. Lenore Scout. Don't need that ability at all. Uh, we could do Warlord's Fury uh, for the card draw. Actually, card draw. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Card draw is going to be strong too. Another Partic Wanderer. Remember, they're free. These are all first turn plays. None of them are 1 1s. I'll take Curator's Ward then. I will take <laughs> the Memorial. We don't need the Memorial. There is no land in Healing Grace. Healing Grace is probably going to go. But we will see. Okay, so now here's. I'm going to get a little greedy. Um. I don't need a Cabal Stronghold. Okay, we're good. First of all, anything with a kicker. No, yeah, Garna, for sure. No, cast down. We gotta get some removal. I think we're on cast down here. Um, Gideon's Reproach may not be enough. And mana doesn't matter. Color doesn't matter. It's all, you know, paying whatever mana for it. The Eldest Reborn is good, too. I like kickers more. For this, um, so Keldon Overseer is going to gain control of a creature, which is nice. Although Divination is a, a card draw that we'll need too. So this is an interesting pack. Time to make a decision, and that's going to be on on card draw versus creature stealing versus some control with the Eldest Reborn. This is tricky. Um, I'm going to have to go with the card draw, though, because I feel like card draw is going to be super powerful in this in this event. Uh, yeah, we're going to grab a Shiv and Fire. Over Sergeant at Arms, creates two tokens. Yeah, we'll grab Shiv and Fire. Five damage to a creature for one mana. For no mana, it's free. I keep thinking mana isn't going to matter, but it's not. Mm-mm. Soul Salvage? Have a little late game. A little late game action. I feel like Unwind would also be good. I don't have to pay mana. It's just a free counter spell. But I think the games are going to happen so fast that, that it's not going to make a difference. So I want to go with... Well, I've got to pick something. Um, and I don't think we're going to have any creatures worth removing for one damage. Unwind is interesting. So is Soul Salvage. I'm going to grab the Soul Salvage. You know what? I'm feeling like it. The Bond. Nobody wants the Bond. Sorry, dude. No kickers except Excavation Elephant. Return target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Partic Wanderer is an ar uh, artifact. It's not terrible. Mana doesn't matter. I don't care if it costs 7 to do that. It's only a 3 5, though. Is there anything better? Healing Grace is kind of a cool card, but but no. Final Parting, search your library for two cards. I mean, you can do that in turn one. But then what's the point? You're just going to want to get the card rather than the Final Parting. Uh, I don't want to have a Trapper. That's fine. I'm going to go with the Kicker. Yeah, we're doing it. I feel like there are some good flyers in this set that will need to be handled with something like Pierce the Sky. Although, if we just get creatures and just go go crazy aggro with creatures, they'll have to block with those flyers also. Like, Partic Wanderer is going to be real strong in this event. And I don't know that they've, uh, they've taken... Oh, this is great. Um, they, they've done anything different with the algorithm for the drafts, because you're drafting against bots. And I think they're drafting like normal, where we're drafting for the event. So we get a chance to like grab all these crazy colors that would never work normally. We don't have to even think about it, which is nice. Um, I don't mind befuddle. I, yeah, I do. 
It's a terrible card draw. We'll grab Invoke the Divine just for, just in case maybe there are some artifacts or enchantments we're seeing. I'll grab another Keldon. No, just the first Keldon Overseer. Okay. Because I like kickers. I feel like kickers are, are cheap ways to win in this event. Demonic Vigor. When it dies, return it to its owner's hand, which we can just write that in there, recast. Divest as an artifact or creature, which is also nice. But I think I'm just going to go with Demonic Vigor. It might come out. Charge. We like charge better. I don't want to hold anything in my hand to cast as a counterspell later. I think that's a terrible idea. Um, I think Rescue is, is okay. Orcish Vandal's gonna, not going to make it. Tempest the Djinn, I have four of them, so I don't have to worry about taking it just for the, for the get, to get the rare out of it. And this would be terrible in this event. I think we're on for Sarah Angel here. It's a Flyer, 4-4, four, four, Vigilance. Uh, nope, Ergo's the Empty One. For both discard and card draw, if we get Ergos on turn one, we win the game. Fall of Thran is awful for this event, isn't he? Poor guy. Uh, we'll go with another cast down. Absolutely. That's going to work. Pardic Wanderer again. I mean, there's, are we all Pardic and we're all Wandery? Um, return a creature and opponent controls. That's not bad. Um, but I don't think it's I don't think it's too powerful. Yep, another Pardic Wanderer. Why not? He's a 5-5. Five, five. He's big and he's tough. I like Danatha normally. Although, although with all these nice kickers floating around, we could steal one. It gains haste until end of turn. Yep, so I like Keldon Overseer over Sergeant at Arms because it also acts as a... Uh, it's a creature and an act of treason. It's super nice to have to start taking their creatures and watching them go, hey man, you took my creature. Not a super strong pack. Okay. Okay, now the question becomes, can we pick up a Chainer's Torment and save some dignity and actually make it work? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. No, let's grab it. See what happens. Caligo Skin Witch is nice. Again, how many do we have? Two? That's three. No final parting. Feral Abomination. Or, or could we just make this the big Pardic Wanderer deck, right? We've got five already. Uh, I'm going to go with Feral Abomination, though, because he's got Death Touch. And I like Death Touch as a blocker, because it doesn't have haste, right? So he's going to block somebody. And that will keep him from attacking. Oh, if it's an instant or sorcery. I was like, precognition field is fantastic. Hey, wait a minute. Um, but we're not going to have too many instant or sorcery spells, you know. Cast down. Yep, yep, we're going to grab it. Um, and we can... Oh, man. This is like cheating in this event. You can exile any card for once every turn because you get that emblem with all the mana. Um, and then and here we go. So now we're on for a charge again. Yeah, let's just grab charges. Adamant Will gains indestructible. Nope, I like Fire Elemental. It's a big creature. We want big creatures. Another Fire Elemental. It's a bigger creature. Sergeant at Arms. Why not? I like Demonic Vigor in this case. And then Cabal Paladin. Okay, so two cards come out of here. Orcish Vandal was a, was a pity pick, I think. Um, Soul Salvage? No, we'll keep it in there. Oh, wow. So you get to keep a whole lot in your deck. Okay. I like everything else about this. So question becomes, what do we... Well, yeah, so... No, we'll leave Invoke the Divine. Can we play with 41 cards? You know what? 42 is the answer to everything in the universe. Why don't we just play a 42-card deck? Why not? There's no harm in playing everything in this draft. It's not like... It's not like there's an optimal way to play. This is going to be a little janky. It's just kind of how it is. We will bring the camera back. Nice to see everybody again. And and remember, if you lose on turn three, and this <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, so check this out. 
This is stupid. Oh no, don't mulligan. Are you serious? Don't mulligan in this event, guys. Get things you can cast. They're all zero. There's no mana issues at all. Uh, unless he just realizes now how the, the omniscience emblem is going to work. Um, which could be happening. Uh, it took me... I've done this event once before, so watch this. Chainer's Torment goes down. Crossend Druid comes down with the kicker. Always with the kicker. I'm at 32 health, right? And then... So Cross and Druid combines with Chainer's Torment kind of nicely because it's going to cut my life in half, and I'm already at 32. Turn one, I'm at 32. Now, now I think he might see how the event works and and say, uh oh, oh no. And now, if I top deck the Flame of Keld, I'm in business because, oh, okay, that's good. No divination is great for this. There's no land. Oh, no, he didn't. Interesting. Very interesting. Wow. Was it going to be a 17 17? Okay. Be befuddled. My Feral Abomination, which still has Death Touch. See, like this stuff... I, I mean, if you're being handed the befuddles and stuff, go for it. But ultimately, like, you're just going to want to get some, some hard card draw. Like, uh, Divination is strong. Really good in this. Okay, so Linvada, that's cool. Is th Did he kick it? Because that's terrific if he did. I'm going to gain 10 more life. Alright. Very happy with that move. I wish I could time it differently so I could gain 10 life. Okay. There's my blocker with death touch. So, so there's that. Although I'm I'm not blocking. Um, nope, I should have played. Yeah, I'm gonna play my elephant just because I want to do as much damage as possible. He could slin slin Vodla uh, all over again, and uh, and return my token to my hand, which I would not appreciate at all. And now I'm glad I put that uh, enchantment destroyer in there. So when enchanted creature dies versus uh, when this enchantment is removed. You know what I'm saying? Or any of my cards that will steal Slinvada, Slinvoda, whatever. I didn't get any fight with fires, man. That would have been cool. I would have liked to get four of those and just draw two fight with fires and end the game on turn one. Oh man, I wanted that one. Where's my Kelden Overseer? So lucky for me, he doesn't trample and I can block. Um, or I could take the 17 and go down to, to 10. I don't love that idea. That's a good a good pick for right now for him. But obviously I'm gonna lose my Excavation Elephant. And I don't want to block his his slin, right? That's not what we're going for. So we'll just block with excavation elephant. We lose our excavation elephant, no problem. Okay, deuces, buddy. Nothing we can do about that. See if I block slin Vodla. Okay, well now I got one of my own, which is nice. Although I don't have to pay the kicker either. I could just cast him. So why don't we attack first, see what he's got cooking. He's holding two cards for some reason. So he might have something with Flash, like Garna of the Blood Flame, or something to that effect. So we could block with Keldon Overseer, play Garna, and get his Keldon Overseer back.
And I may be able to... I may be able to swing home with some victory by using Slin Fada. Actually, I... I just missed lethal, didn't I? I did. I could have cast it and returned... Oh, wait, no, it's all creatures. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I didn't do it. It's all creatures, not just opponents' creatures. Shirk Prospector is a worthless card in this. Even if you're sacrificing creatures, you could save the big bombs. Um, you know, and... And go to town. This is a nightmare horror, right? Yeah, okay. Well. So now do we just swing in here? He can block the 1-1 one, one there, which it dies. He could block Slinvadla here or take the 5. Yeah, so let's just... Let's just keep hammering, see what he's got. And then I'll play my Slinvada and not bounce anybody. I'll just play without the kicker, because I'm thinking he's probably going to play Leviathan, Krakens. Leviathan's octopus is okay. Okay, so he he takes advantage of this. And we are just going to cast a regular Slin, who will not get bounced. Krakens, Merfolk, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents. It would have been cool if they included, like... Cra What's Hydroid Krasis? Uh, jellyfish? Mutant? Jellyfishes. That would have been cool. But I gotta assume he's gonna do... Yeah, he's gonna do this with the kicker, and up come my two dudes. Yep, and I lose my token. And I lose Demonic Vigor because whatever. But that's fine. With the kicker, I'll gain the 10 life back. You're gonna want some of these Cross Androids in this event because the life gate, you're gonna lose a ton of life early just because aggro isn't like a bunch of 1 1s all of a sudden. Aggro is a bunch of 5 5 Partic Wanderers, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna hurt. Yeah, he has to block or he dies. It's. That's just fine. And now it would be a good time for me to draw into some of my card draw. Are we really like seven cards into this game already? Halfway done with my cup of coffee. Unbelievable. Soul Salvage. Very, very nice. Very nice there. Hmm. Yeah. No. I don't have any direct damage either. Kava with the kicker. I don't know why I've got like a white and a blue. We're waiting on the opponent here. He's got something cooking. And I wish I got more flyers, too. If you get the chance to get flyers, grab them. Uh, I feel like we got the one. Oh, I can't do the double kickers because uh, I don't have enough mana for my emblem. Oh, that's what it is. You have to have the emblem to do the kickers, which is funny and silly at the same time. He actually picked up a counterspell. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Man, I hope he doesn't win with three health all this time. <laughs> How funny. Why not just get the better cards instead of opt? But that's cool. You can do that if that's what you're doing. Yep. Caligo Skin Witch. Very, very strong. Very strong. There goes my life gain. So he he shouldn't attack with both of these. 
Uh, well, ideally, he would play as Kelton Overseer and hit me for a bunch, but uh, I don't think he's going to do that. No blocking. Not yet. Still at 20, so I'm doing okay. I could really use some direct damage. Okay, got a cast down, so there goes the Primordial Worm right away. Not going to wait. <clears throat> yeah, and we're going to attack. So this kind of gives me an opening to swing in. He's dead if he doesn't block. He's at one if he does block. And now it kind of changes how he attacks with Slin Vodla. I know there's no L in the name. I, I can see that. It's just kind of fun to say it that way. He could hit me for 8 and 5. It'd be 13 if he's got some sort of... Some other way to do 7 extra damage in there. That's not good. This is an ineffective blocker right here because it's the trample's going to do 1 damage. He may be saving his... He's not... <clears throat> Although, not attacking with his Keldon Overseer, or with my own Kavu, it's a little silly. Maybe that's all he does. Um, he's going to have to block with gang block with both of those, and hope I don't draw into some other, one of my other... All I have is cast downs, I think. That's it, right? For removal. And they're both... I didn't get the Eldest Reborn, which is a damn shame. Okay, so here's some damage. Ouch, ouch. Got it. Good. And we need some card draw. Hmm. Well, that's that's the game. So we are going to attack. No, we'll 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 play it safe, right? Five, six, seven, eight. No, we're dead either way. That's the game. Son of a gun. Yep. Toasted. Wow, he pulled it off. I was so I, I was so sure I would have this victory with uh, my chainer's torment combined with the uh, the big guy. Yep, you've won. All right. Way to stall long enough to to sneak away with one there, buddy. That was a that was a well earned victory. Darn it! I just wish I would have I would have won. Okay, still on zero wins, and I even went first. I feel like going first is a is a really strong indicator of, of who's gonna win this game. He went for some good card draw though too. So that was, was kind of nice. <coughs> Curator's ward is garbage. Um, don't get it. I take it all back. I go first, um, but yeah, we'll hang on to it. He took a mulligan. I feel like I feel like a mulligan is way too risky in this event. I think Curator's Ward would go really good on a Partic Wanderer if we can get one. I feel like having just one creature on turn one is terrible in this event too. Ah, eh, we'll see. Okay. Now it's just card draw. I may as well filter through a few other cards here. Okay, we can't cast him down. That's not great. Sergeant at Arms, of course, with the kicker. This is a great, a great pick for this event. Now we're just gonna cast you down right away. I'm not waiting. <laughs> and now we're not getting anything decent at all. So we're going to get overrun here real quick. Halar is going to kill us all. Ah, oh, man. He's, this is a terrific start. Opt? Another opt. I wouldn't think that... Uh, the free scry would be very useful, but I guess I guess folks are going for it. Because if you just had the fire elemental, you don't need land. So you don't need to filter through your deck for anything. Um, just because it's uh 
just, it, you're not going to draw land or anything, in theory, anything useless, because it's all fairly, fairly usable cards, you know what I'm saying? Now, if he doesn't draw anything with a kicker, we're okay to block Halar, although the Fire Elemental's tricky. Chainer's Torment, I got one too. Fire Elemental, I think I'm on the block here, guys. No, I'm going to take it for at least one turn and see what we run into. Oh, I got a Shirk Prospector also. Because I'm going with 42. It is not the answer to everything. Why don't we attack? He throws a 1-1 on the way. Well, I can do the same. These games are, are oh so janky. Shirk Prospector's gotta go. Sorry, buddy, you're a waste of a slot. Oh, and it's got first, no, just Menace? Well, that's, that's stinky. I don't like this at all. He tramples anyway, so there's no point in trying to block. Oh, this is, this is gonna be quick. Okay, um. Okay, well, Caligo Skimwitch with the kicker. He doesn't have any cards anyway. We're gonna save our abomination to block. It's not gonna it's not gonna matter. Because we have to gang block this fire elemental anyways. And he got off to a hot start with Halar. Which is nice. It's a nice start. Now I've got to resolve this 12-12 over here. And I think the only card I'll have... Well, I've got another cast down. The only other card I'm going to have for this is going to be... Uh, Slinvodla. Slinvoda. I'm blocking Halar down. So if he attacks with Halar, he gets blocked. Uh, maybe that's not the smartest move. Block here. This is sticky. Yep, so I have to block him, lose both my creatures. I'm at one. This is not going well. Nope. And that's the game. So we lost two in a row real quick, back to back. <clears throat> I feel like maybe Opt is... I don't, I don't know, though, because you don't have to filter through your deck with Opt. So I don't think Opt is... Oh, no, I forgot to take out... Okay, I'm going to take him out. 42 is... This is a cute way to do it, but honestly... Uh, Shirk, you gotta go, buddy. You are not doing anything at all. Orcus Vandal, sorry guys, you're not doing anything. Other than those two, <laughs> everything's pretty good. I don't even mind the the card that gives him hexproof because uh, there's a lot of targeted removal that we might see. I think Luminous Bonds is in this set, if I'm not mistaken. So seal away. So there, there's a lot they can do. So I like uh, giving a big creature hexproof. It doesn't bother me at all. Especially if I can get a flyer, maybe, this game. Like, we're going to go 0-3. Um, hopefully not. Okay, so this is going to be... No, it's not a not, not mulligan at all. So I've got a divination, which is going to... Okay, opponent goes first. That's not ideal. Okay, okay, not too scary yet. Okay. None of those creatures by themselves are all that scary, so let's see what what we end up drawing into. A nice Partic Wanderer for us. Good deal. We'll draw two more cards. Is this a joke? <laughs> like I've got all my... Okay, we'll just make him a 6-6 six, six off the bat. There we go. Gaius Protector must be blocked, but doesn't have to attack. And my Wanderer tramples. So that's nice. Shiv and fire is an instant, and I've got my my mana back. Okay, Multani dies, and he can never bring him back. Okay, he can never never bring him back. He's got to return two lands. 
Unless he stuck lands in his deck. Hmm. All right, if I lose this game, then this event is just out to get me, and, uh, <laughs> and that's the end of it. Do I shiv and fire? Yeah, right? Like, that's, I mean, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You took Multani. Not very good for this event. And they're a little janky. They These events, when they do this, like the mana... The mana advantage events are, uh, I don't know, they, they are what they are. It's, it's flip a coin. <laughs> you win, good job, flip a coin. I won, look at me, I've got skill. And something that bothers me about these events every once in a while is that I don't actually get any better at, um, at drafting after doing these events. I like this a lot. So I've got a Partic Wanderer with Demonic Vigor, and then when he dies after Demonic Vigor, I can Excavation him back and then cast him again. This is exactly what I had in mind when I did this. Hmm. It's dark Bargains, huh? Maybe this guy knows something I don't know here. He's doing Dark Bargains to get to the bottom of something. Fire Intervention, that ain't bad. It's Karn, like, beating up on the trees. And then Chandra's like, hey, stop it, Karn. Yeah. Let's put it in your graveyard from your library. Okay. I'm gonna just go Park Wanderer. Bigger. He must have a counter spell. And he's gonna use it right now. Which would be Wizard's Retort? A blink of an eye. Okay. Okay. Terrific. What do we do about this big Leviathan now? He's massive. Okay, another a soul salvage. We killed an overseer, that's terrific. Talarian Scholar is totally worthless in this. Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna take a bunch. This is terrific. So I'm gonna block the 8-8, eight, eight, right? I'll just take eight. Where am I killed an overseer? I have one. <sighs> okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Now I can't pay the kicker for excavation elephant. And I have to block Slinvada. He's attacks. Without a doubt, he attacks. I still take five. I go down to seven. Hmm. Got the jump on us again. Man, this event was frustrating this time, wasn't it? Well, for me at least. You will have way different results than this. This is... This is like the jankiest of janky drafts. And I'm still in trouble. Although it might, this might change his, his attack pattern here. He might only go for eight. Okay, so what are the odds that he's going to save him here? Uh, my guess is 100%. He bounces him. He's got a blink of an eye. No. Nope. He's going to return him to his hand because he's got... No, okay. He doesn't. And we can't attack because we're wide open and vulnerable, and he's going to have nothing but big giant creatures and card draw and removal and stuff. A 7 6. Okay, we'll just block with both wanderers. He 
can't kill them both. Run is nice with the kicker. Absolutely. This is like the second Dominaria draft I'm going to lose to Grun the Lonely King. Because he's so amazing. Well, that's unfortunate. Here comes the attack. We block with Excavation Elephant. Because he's a 20 20. Ouch. Man. That would have been nice to have a turn ago. Let's see what we draw into. Three. No, that's game. I can only block one. Yeah. That was quick. Oh, how disappointing. Okay, but let's see what, what our rewards are. We're going to get like 50 gems out of this. Uh, your experience might be similar. It, you might win a few games if you get, you know, if your deck starts to work. Hey, that's, there's no reason for it not to, other than it's just luck of the cards in this one. I wouldn't have charges in here next time, though. One win. Wow, this is terrible. Um, so 100 gems, that's not terrific. I would like to get more gems, but we did get a pack, so that's kind of nice, too. And it still is worth more uh, card-wise to open the packs than it is to, or to buy the draft than it is to straight open the packs. Another wild card, that's cool. And a Muldratha. Okay, cool. That would have been terrific in the draft, too. Um, but we didn't get a whole lot of great stuff. I mean, it's it's whatever. These uh, events get kind of janky, so uh, whatever you might have luck with in terms of uh, what you pick up is kind of cool. So remember to uh, subscribe. I try and cover all these events, whether or not I feel like they're any good. Uh, this one is really only good for the Dominaria, the packs that you get, uh, which is nice to get some Dominaria packs. And it's uh, this weird, like, janky playing field that you're on where you can sneak away with a few really good wins. Um, or even, like as you saw, I lost with, uh, with three life there that one game, which is whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Remember to subscribe and uh, have a nice day.